वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल स्मार्ट इंजीनियर टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट बेरिंग एंड इट्स क्लासिफिकेशन इन दिस वीडियो बेरिंग इज ए मशीन एलिमेंट दैट स्पॉट गाइड एंड रिड्यूस द फ्रिक्शन ऑफ मोशन बिटवीन फिक्स एंड मूविंग मशीन पार्ट द सिंपलेस्ट फॉर्म ऑफ बेरिंग इज द प्लेन बेरिंग कंसिस्ट ऑफ ए साफ्ट रोटेटिंग इन ए हॉल मेन फंक्शन ऑफ बेरिंग आर टू रिड्यूस द फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन ए फिक्स एंड मूविंग पार्ट to spot a load guide moving component such as shaft wheel classification of bearing bearing is classified in two manner first depending upon direction of load to be spotted radial bearing thrust bearing second one is depending upon the nature of contact first one is sliding contact bearing second one is rolling contact bearing depending upon direction of load to be spotted radial bearing radial ball bearing are designed to withstand force that are perpendicular to the direction of moving element bearing shown in diagram support the shaft of motor and pulley subjected to a radial load bearing used in shaft of motor and pulley only facing radial load thrust bearing a thrust bearing is a particular type of rotary bearing like other bearing they permanently rotate between part but they are designed to support a axial load in thrust bearing load act along the axis of rotation bearing used in bass tool is subjected to thrust bearing it is loaded purely in thrust and entire load come from the weight of the person sitting on bass tool coming to the classification of bearing based on nature of contact sliding contact bearing in sliding contact bearing the sliding take place along the surface of contact between the moving element and the fixed element sliding contact bearing are also known as a plane bearing sliding contact bearing in which the sliding action is along the circumference of a circle or an arc of a circle and carrying radial load are known as a journal or a sleeve bearing rolling contact bearing rolling contact bearing are also known as anti friction bearing due to its low friction characteristic in rolling contact bearing the steel ball or roller are interposed between the moving and fixed element the ball offer rolling friction at 2 point for each ball or roller these bearing are used for radial load thrust load or combination of thrust and radial load these bearing are extensively used due to its relative lower price being almost maintenance free and for its operational ease hope you understand bearing and its classification if you think video is knowledgeable for you then like share and comment on video also subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon for engineering and technology video thanks for watching video